Did you know our bodies transport critical information that influences our emotions, our mood, and our behavior via chemical signals passing between specialized cells called neurons? This is the process of neurotransmission. Neurotransmission is how neurons communicate with each other in a consistent, reliable, and timely manner. Within the next three minutes, you will learn the five basic steps of neurotransmission. Before we get into the actual steps of neurotransmission, it is crucial that we understand not only the structure of a neuron, but where this communication between neurons takes place. This diagram represents the structure of a neuron. The direction of the chemical signal that's passed between neurons runs from the dendrites down the axon to the axon terminal and almost touches the dendrites of the next neuron. They are separated by a microscopic gap called the synaptic cleft. The presynaptic neuron is the axon terminal of the neuron that comes before the synaptic cleft and the postsynaptic neuron is the dendrite of the neuron that comes after the synaptic cleft. The first step is called synthesis. In this step, a biosynthesis precursor, represented by X, and an enzyme represented by Y, come together to create the neurotransmitter. The next step is called storage. In this step, thousands of neurotransmitters are packaged into these little containers within the presynaptic neuron that are called synaptic vesicles. They will remain in these synaptic vesicles until they are ready for release into the synaptic cleft. Then comes the release. Release of a neurotransmitter only occurs as the result of an action potential. To briefly explain, an action potential depolarizes the axon terminal of the presynaptic neuron, causing calcium ions to rush into the cell. When this happens, these synaptic vesicles are able to fuse with the end of the axon terminal and release the neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft. This movement of the synaptic vesicles is done with the help of a vesicle transporter. The next step of neurotransmission that we will cover is called receptor. After being released into the synaptic cleft, neurotransmitters are able to bind to different types of receptors on the postsynaptic neuron. Finally, removal of the excess neurotransmitters left in the synaptic cleft will return to the presynaptic neuron via a process called reuptake, or they will be broken down by metabolic enzymes represented by the blue shape on the left. Once the neurotransmitter enters the postsynaptic neuron, the chemical signal can continue to be passed on. Next time you feel sad, happy, angry, or scared, you will know that this emotion is a direct result of tiny chemicals passing through millions of neurons in your body. Thanks for watching!